Shemayan, good evening. We're going to install Alan Bits on a VPS. I'm going to use a Lunar Node because we can pay in Bitcoin for our VPS. Um, I just paid for like the cheapest uh, option they had. I think the server's in Montreal. And um, I made sure that the uh, template I used is Ubuntu 2004. It only took about a minute to set this up. I just click some buttons and then boom, you've got your VPS set up. So we're going to SSH into that now and install Alan Bits. Yep, we accept the fingerprint, so we trust the IP address. I'm going to paste in the password. Boom, we're in. Next, we're going to start installing Alan Bits. First, we're going to clone this repo. Okay, then we're going to CD into Alan Bits. All right. Now before we can do this thing, we need to install virtual environment, which is a uh, sudo apt, oop, apt install python3 hyphen, uh, what's it called again, fenv, that's it isn't it, okay cool, yeah we want to install that, and then we can just actually take all of those like that, so what it's going to do, is set up a virtual environment, install our requirements from LMBits into our virtual environment, copy, make a copy of uh, .env.example, and save it locally on the uh, virtual server, that's where our variables are for our funding source. Then it's going to build all the database files, so let's just put them all in at once. Boom, boom. We keep dependencies to an absolute minimum. Um, and a bit is very light. And dependencies we do have, uh, you know, we've vet ourselves. Feel free to go into requirements and have a look at dependencies yourself. And, yep, assets. Probably have to enter again, yep. Now we've got all our SWIFT ILS. There we are, we have all our database files all built. Brilliant. And we should have a .env in here, which I can't see, but it is there, sudo nano .env. Okay, and this is where we put in some variables to connect it to our funding source. I'm actually going to connect it to LMPay first, because that's a nice solution for if you're developing and you just want to get up and running with LMBits, your own LMBits. Um, it's nice and quick, you know. So we need some API keys from... LMPay. What's great about LMPay as well is you don't need any credentials. What does suck is they've recently made it so you can only withdraw, you can only do 10k transactions max, which kind of limits this use case as well. I'm sure they did it for a good reason. Maybe it was a slot. Right, so I've copied my secret API key from developers. And I went to wallets and I copied my admin API key from the wallet itself. Control S, Control X. Then, what's next? All right, running, yeah, that's it. We're connected to our funding source, we're installed. I think we're good to go. Yeah, there we are. And Bits was able to connect to LMPay wallet. Um, if I connect to, so copy this uh, IP address. And then 5,000. There we are, we've got LM bits up and running. Fantastic. But it won't work properly unless we use a uh, HTTPS. So we're going to hook up a domain because it's not particularly hard. We're going to use something called Caddy, uh, which will issue our SSL certificate. So control C out of that. And so Control Shift V, let's paste that in there. Um, we've got to add the sources for Caddy first. So with Caddy, we're able to do a reverse proxy to our LM Bits server, um, and it will just monitor traffic and any traffic from the URL we specify. It will um, try and issue a sudo apt update. It will try and issue an SSL certificate if it can, which is cool. Let's now we'll install it. Brilliant. 
sudo caddy stop and then we're going to do sudo nano caddy file with a capital C and we're going to say the domain I'm going to be using is called uh, swapsats.com but uh, as this is a development environment I'm going to do it on a subdomain of swapsats.com so in fact I need to add a, a record and it's going to point to uh, LM bits and the host is this thing here paste and custom oh got that the wrong way around haven't I Yeah. Um, right, cool. Save. So there's an A record. Uh, and then in our caddy file, here we go, we're going to say lmbits.swapsats.com. So if you just wanted to um, have this point to uh, your you know, server, uh, you wouldn't put LM bits here. I think you put a, you put a star in there. I think you just put a star in there, um, or maybe not anything. In fact, shoot, let's just see. Let's see. Let's put in an A record. I've forgotten. And um, we'll have it point to there. I want to look at that. It demands. Oh, it's the at thing. Yeah, the last squiggly thing. So that's what you would use if you were just getting it to point from. You know, so when it hits, when someone hits swapsats.com directly, then in your in your thing you wouldn't include this .lm bits thing. You just have swapsats.com. But we're putting it on a subdomain. Bracket curly bracket curly bracket reverse. In fact, we won't do that first. Let's just get it up and running. And we're going to do a reverse proxy to our server, which lives at 0, .0, 0.0.0, colon 5000. I'm going to control S to save, control X to exit. Now we're going to, uh, why am I getting emails from Sports Direct? Spam. We're going to, I'm going to use screen to run, um, so basically like I want to run LM bits so if I close this terminal it won't close the process so I've got to use screen for that and okay and then in screen I do control a D to detach from screen but it's still running in the background and then I can do sudo caddy start Cross my fingers, blah 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 blah. Sweet. So now I think if I go to LN bits dot swap sats dot com, boom, there's my LN bits install. Nice. Um, and Caddy has issued me with an SSL certificate as if by magic. So I shall create an invoice for five Satoshis. And then look for a wallet on my phone which has five Satoshis in it at least. I've got a wallet Satoshi here with 11 Satoshis. So I'm stacking them sats. Okay, so I've paid it. Come on, Ellen Bits. Register the payment. Boom. Nice. Fantastic. Um, so there we are. We've set up Ellen Bits with uh, LM Pay and we've got an SSL certificate and a URL. But we're not going to stop there because LMP is cool and everything, but we want to be, you know, we want to have our own Lightning node instead of using somebody else's custodial service, don't we? So I'm going to um, clear all this crap. No, no, except one. Um, CD out of that. Uh, Fiat Jaff has a fantastic plugin for. Uh, Lightning D, 
so Lightning DSC Lightning. And the plugin means that we don't need to use Bitcoin Core with it, which makes it a lot easier if you're running some sort of environment for a piece of software on a, a, virt a VPS. Because trying to run Bitcoin Core on a VPS sucks. Um, so instead of using block, block, um, Bitcoin Core for validating our on-chain transactions, we can use blockchain.info, mempool space, and all these other sources uh, together, which is great. So I'm going to install that now. So sudo control shift v. Yep, I want to add that source. And then we're going to sudo apt update. And then I'm having to do sudo here. He hasn't put sudo there, so make sure you do that as well, or else it's going to fail. apt install lightning d yeah right now before we run our lightning d because we haven't got bitcoin core running so it's not going to be able to find a bitcoin core we're going to make a directory for plugins we're going to do this thing here i'm not entirely sure what it does but it does something so let's do it we're going to cd into our plugin folder and we're going to wget our plugin, our trusted coin plugin, okay, and then we're going to chmod. So if I ls it now, okay, we've got our plugin which we downloaded, and if I control, uh, if I paste, if, yeah, if I cmod it, it'll make it executable. So if I ls now, it goes green, which means it's executable. Now while I'm here. I'm going to also install another one of VHF's plugins called Sparko. So, C Lightning is a uh, Lightning D, sorry, is um, like a terminal based Lightning node, which is cool and everything, but I want to be able to access it uh, when I'm out and about, set up channels through a GUI, because, you know, I do like a GUI. So, we're going to install the Sparko plugin as well, because that will do that for us. I'm going to go to releases here latest releases. And while this is important, we go to Sparko Linux AMD 64.compat. Okay, I'm just going to right click, copy link address, and then I'm going to go wget, paste that in there, so control shift V, it will go get that one, and then I'll do that chmod thing for Sparko. Spar you can press tab and it'll fill that bit in for you, Sparko. Okay, so now we should have two plugins running on C Lightning. Lightning D. I'm going to CD out of that. I'm going to make a new screen. Okay, cool. And then, then what am I going to do? All right, then I'm going to, I'm going to run. I think I'm going to run Lightning D. Am I? Let's have a look. Where are we up to? We're up to here. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm going to run Lightning D. Cross my fingers. And. Yeah, it's working. So what Trusted Coin is doing is it's going and getting the uh, just the block headers from these different sources. Okay, instead of from block uh, Bitcoin Core, I can control A D to detach from that. If I do screen backslash ls, I can list all the different screens. So there's my um, Allen Bits, which is running my Allen Bits server. And then there's my uh, C Lightning, uh, which is running. Now, we're running C Lightning, we're running Sparko, which means that Spark, uh, the GUI thing, is running. So what we need to do is CD LM bits. And then, uh, oh yeah, sudo nano caddy file. We need to adapt our caddy file a little bit. We've got our reverse proxy thing here. I think I need to indent this. Let me indent it anyway, just in case. And I think that's it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save that and then control X out. And then I'm going to sudo caddy stop. Stop. Error. Ooh, don't like that. And sudo caddy start. 
E, don't know if that's worked. LN bits dot swapsats dot com. Yeah, cool. So that's still working. There we are. So basically, I want to have. Um, okay, that worked. That's good. Pseudo nano caddy file. I wanted to um, see the problem with caddy is it keeps printing out this thing in terminal. So let me, let me go out of that and go back in. So I'm going to have stop. Um, I want to have multiple routes. So another route I'm going to have is for C Lightning, and I'll call it Spark. That's what we're using. Swap sats dot com. Curly bracket. Curly bracket. And then instead of a reverse proxy, oh no, there is a reverse proxy. Reverse proxy to swap sats. Now swap um, to Spark. Spark, you can't issue it a SSL. So we're HTTP zero dot zero dot zero dot, and it's nine seven three seven, I think. We'll soon find out. Nine seven three seven. Save. Hmm, I'm going to cross my fingers, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, well here's a good reason why it's not going to work. I haven't actually set up the root have I in my host. So where are we? We've got LM bits. Let's set up an A record. Same IP address, of course. And then Spark. I'll tell you what, I don't really know what this... TTL thing does to be honest, but there we are. I always put it as C600. Um, okay, control S, control X, and then sudo caddy stop. Okay, sudo caddy start. Oh, got an error. Oh, reverse a proxy. <laughs> You probably saw that. Uh, good stuff. Okay. Save. Exit. Start. Okay. I'm on the edge of my seat here. I just don't believe it's going to work. I've never done it all in one sitting before. Is Alan Bit still running? Yes, it is. Right. So, does that mean I can spark um, dot swap sets? dot com 404 page not found I think that's cool that means it's kind of working but it's not really working but it's kind of working I think I need to set some credentials in order to be able to log in to Spark I'm going to pause the video do some homework quickly but I think I've got it I think I know what I'm doing I think let's see so we need to Add some credentials to the config of Lightning D for Spark. So I'm going to cd the horizontal squiggler backslash lightning men ls. Okay, we've got a config file in there. You see that? So we're going to sudo fact. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cd. No, what am I doing? sudo nano config. All right, cool. Now I think we can get rid of that. Maybe let's have a little look. Yes. Now we need to keep that, and these are the details we need to add to our config, so the Spark Wallet thing can connect. Um, and I put in. So this is your username for logging into to, to your Spark Wallet thing for managing your node. This is your username. And this is your password, and then there's your key. Obviously, you use a, a stronger password than that. And it's 9737. Okay, Control S, Control X, CD out of that. Now, what am I doing? Well, I think I've got to restart. Yeah, so I've got a screen backslash R. No, backslash LS. And then screen. Three, four, four, two, six. Is that it? Backslash R. Reconnect. 
Ah, wrong one. Try D. The other one then. Five. Press tab to get it to do that for me. Alright. I'm going to control C. I think I can do that without breaking. And then um, I'm going to run Lightning D again. And it should pick up from where I last left it. I think I should uh, search for the, the Lightning D shut down gracefully command. Right, control A D. So that's still running. Um, so now, let's see. Oh, it might be because it's HTTPS. Oh, cool. Oh no, what did I call it? Uh, swap sats, okay. Swap sats, and the password is swap sats 111. And I'm in. This is connected to my uh, Bitcoin node. Ooh, there's a. Oh, there we go. You got to click around here. It's really goofy. Uh, I think it's in Chromium. It doesn't show. There's supposed to be a little. Yeah, okay. There's supposed to be a little um, uh, wrench thingy there to get up um, this console thing, but yeah, it's not there. So uh, we can change the way it looks, and then you can access unless on your phone while you're out and about. You go to console. Uh, we can run commands in there for Lightning D, such as um, connecting to channels and things, and funding channels. And then we can also check logs as well, so it's a pretty useful, pretty useful thing to have. Let's put that little wrench thing back on. Where is it? Lost it again. There he is. Oh, there he is. Right. So that's working. It's connected to our node. Ellen Bits isn't connected to our node, however, is it? So let's get on that. Um. So it was that screen, wasn't it? Let's connect back to that screen. Where is he? Um, yeah, that one. Right, okay, control C. Oh man. Rats. Control A. Control A D. And then. Oh, C D. Let's get back to that lightning folder. LS, I think it's the Bitcoin one, so CD, Bitcoin, and then LS, yes, that's what we want, the Lightning RPC thing, right, okay, so we do PWD, and that'll tell us the directory, so it's home, Ubuntu, Lightning, Bitcoin, home, Ubuntu, Lightning, Bitcoin, CD out of that, CD, LM bits, sudo, nano, dot, n, and we're going to replace this LMPay wallet custodial nonsense with our very own C Lightning wallet. Okay. And the RPC here. Home Bob Lightning Bitcoin. Yeah, well, that's it, isn't it? It's just, you just need to change this Bob bit to Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Save. Control S, Control X. And then. I'm not in the. Um, Back in here. Run that again. Oh, I've got to install Pi Lightning. All right, fair enough. Um, and I think for Pi Lightning, it is just yeah. We just do just want to install it in our virtual environment. Pi Lightning. There we are. Done. All right, cool. Alan bits running. So we have Spark wallet running at spark.swapsats and then at lmbits.swapsats. Here we are. We've got Alan bits running. If I refresh that, don't break. Yay. Can I create an invoice? That's the question. Obviously, I won't be able to pay this invoice, but because I've got no channels or anything, yes, I can. And that's coming straight from my C Lightning node. Brilliant. So now we have a VPS with C Lightning on and LM bits. Um, running, you know, let's disconnect from this thing, let's control AD, uh, 
caddy's running, sea lightning's running, our spark thing's running, so we can like, um, we have to type in like lightning, D, uh, connect, channel, there we go, find some article, what is this, alright, oh, okay, nice picture, um, blah de blah de blah let me find the command for oh here we are lightning client new address creating an address to fund an open channel oh wrong one console Does that work Or do I just like do new address? Ah, cool. There we are. So there's a new address for me to fund a uh, to fund my node with some on-chain funds. And then once I've done that, I can, you know, so basically everything in here just use the bare command to get rid of this lightning client bit. Um, and then you can fund a channel. You can connect to channels and then they'll all be listed in Spark here and you can access it from outside so that is it we managed it thanks for watching I'll see you again cheers bye bye